Hello and welcome back to Let's Grow Up. Once again today this is Chiranjit I am back with a topic. In this topic I will share ICF versus LHB. Yani the difference between the bogey, the difference between these two bogey and will explain something about these two bogeys. So let's start the topic and before that I want to say one thing which is so if you think after watching this video obviously if you think this video is helpful then click the like button and share it with your friends. So this is the LHB coach bogey and here the both side frame you can see this frame and you can see this this is white eye frame with connected with these two member basically here is two kind of suspension primary and secondary and if you see the primary suspension uh, here the vertical damper is used for uh, to support this suspension here also the vertical damper okay and the all side you can see the vertical damper for the primary suspension system and here the secondary suspension system is spring suspension also you, you, uh, you can see the uh, air suspension so here in this model you can see the spring suspension system and here also you can see a damper okay this also the vertical damper here the your damper and these are the damper which is used in this bogey basically in ICF coach there is two types suspension primary and secondary and both suspension you can see the spring suspension here you can see the spring suspension both so this one the uh, secondary suspension spring and here the primary suspension spring this is the bogey frame and here you can see the uh, three parts major three uh, dividation this one one and middle and here so both side also divide in three parts both side if you see this see basically it is three part one and this one and here also three okay so one two and three and the both side any both side also divided in three parts one two three same is here one two and three so here is the bogey bolster bogey bolster member is very very important because all the load transmit at first the bogey bolster and the from the bolster the load is transmit to the both side suspension so in LHB bogey here you can see this this is the bogey bolster okay bogey bolster is connected with the vertical damper the both side vertical damper and the load is transmit to this secondary suspension bogey frame and to the bogey frame the both side primary suspension system very easy the load at first transmit to the bolster beam bolster beam to the secondary suspension and the both side primary suspension this is the bolster bolster is connected uh, with this vertical damper and here you can see this the link okay this is called the anti rolling bar and this is the link and here is the total anti rolling bar assembly and the other side here you can see this lateral damper lateral damper is connected with this bolster beam so in LHB coach you can see the three category connection number one the vertical damper here okay and the anti rolling bar with this link number two anti rolling bar and three is lateral damper here you can see this lateral damper connected with this this traction center this is the traction center assembly and from the traction center assembly the damper is connected with this bolster beam so three connection you can see this and one more connection which is the flexible cable here you can see the four flexible cable for the safety purpose with this bolster beams so this is the bolster bolster is connected with the damper here is the damper you can see this both side damper and here is the link here also the safety you can see this here is the safety uh, with this link the bolster is connected with this frame through this link this is the link okay this is the link and also equalizer beam
and next is the uh, brake system here you can see this uh, the brake is mounted on the bogey frame and in a bogey there is two brake cylinder one and two brake cylinder and let's see the LHB coach in this bogey you can see the disc brake system that's why so four brake cylinder here is one two three and four four brake cylinder four disc and the brake assembly disc brake assembly is mounted with this beam the both side bogey beam and the here is the traction center traction center is very important where you can see uh, in ICF coach here is the center pivot point but particular in LHB coach you can see the traction center so all videos are in my channel you can check out the LHB coach training module and here lots of videos are there you can check out in LHB coach here you can see the axle wheel and inside this axle box you can see the CTR cartridge taper roller bearing so in LHB bogey you can see the cartridge taper yani CTR cartridge taper roller bearing and in ICF coach spherical roller bearing is used in ICF coach where in LHB coach CTRV yani cartridge taper roller bearing used basically so in ICF coach the brake is applied the both side of the wheel the both side of the wheel here you can see this this is the brake beam assembly and here also the brake beam assembly and here the wheel and the and the both side brake beam is applied over the wheel or uh, on the wheel so here in LHB coach you can see this the brake pad brake pad is applied uh, over or on the disc this is attached with this axle here is the axle and the disc is attached with the axle and the finally brake shoe when the brake is applied in this bogey the brake shoe close to this disc and finally brake applied so this is the braking system for LHB coach so these are the difference between through bogey basically major difference I explained it and finally uh, one thing is here which is alternator so you can see the ICF coach alternator used basically for the uh, coach electricity supplies so there are the batteries under parts battery and the connection is uh, the alternator is connected with the battery battery charge at first and then from the battery the electricity supply to the coach here you uh, basically you can see the generator which is used at the end of the coaches end coaches you can see the generator <laughs> modern all coaches loco is uh, connected through the coupler up to end all coaches is connected to the uh, HT coupler any high voltage coupler through this coupler the power is supplied to the all coaches so here is the coupler system and the loco is already you know the connected with the OHE and from the OHE uh, loco is uh, collect the power supply and there is a transformer and all the device inside the loco under parts so from the loco the required voltage supply to the coaches up to end so here is a footage I am sharing with you you can see this and watch it if you think this video is helpful then please press your thumb to the like button and share it to everywhere so don't copy it and don't upload it with your channel respect the creators okay so i will meet in the next video till then take care Tada bye